What's up my honey bunnies? And today's video is gonna be a products I will not repurchase. These are gonna be five products that I have tried recently or just a few months ago or earlier this year and it just didn't work out for me. Whenever I do these type of videos, I always wanna start off with a disclaimer, letting you guys know that these are not bad products. These are just products that didn't work out for me for one reason or the other. So I don't want you guys to take my opinions and my experience with these products to heart. Of course, I am in no way trying to bash any of the products or companies. Just because I love a brand, it doesn't mean that all of their products are gonna work for me. And that was just the case with these products. Again, we are all different. We all have different experiences. We all have different preferences different skin types, different skin tones, and everything works different for everybody. So I just wanted to let you guys know that before I start. I always recommend for you guys to try products on your own, on yourself, to see how you like it, because again, we're all different. So with that being said, let's just get started with this video. I'm starting off with this one right here. This is the 100% Pure Bamboo Blur Tinted Moisturizer. This is what the packaging looks like. It is a really pretty, sleek bottle it is a glass bottle you can see right through it, it does have this kind of like golden cap and it does come with the pump and when this first released i was absolutely excited i was like yes i know it's going to work for me it's going to be amazing so of course i went ahead and bought it it was 45 dollars, i believe and i got the color peach bisque which is the same shade that i use in their healthy skin foundation that foundation is one of my ultimate favorite it's amazing uh so i went ahead and got peach bisque and then it was just too dark i did do an insta story first impressions when i first got that it was a few months ago it was a tad bit dark and it was a little orange it kind of gave me an orange hue of course i did email the company to see if i can return it and get a different shade so i went ahead and got the color sand and even this shade kind of just left kind of like an orange hue like an orange tint on my face it wasn't as bad as the other shade peach bisque so this shade i was able to make it work but honestly i just didn't really like the formula the formula is kind of hard to blend I tried blending it with a beauty sponge, whether it was dry or wet or damp, I should say. I tried it with a makeup brush with my fingers and it just didn't work out. Unfortunately, it was the same thing with both shades. I just couldn't get it to blend the way I wanted to. And for some reason, it just left a little bit of streakiness, some patchiness. It just didn't go on very smoothly on my skin. So that's why I wasn't really fond of this formula. It did emphasize my dry patches whenever I had really, really dry skin there are some bloggers and people that bought this product that actually love it so so much so I kind of feel bad that it didn't work out for me I really wanted it to work because I do love tinted moisturizers as you guys know I go for a light to medium coverage for foundation or for me this is more like a foundation and not a tinted moisturizer because for my skin type this is actually not that moisturizing, so I did have to go and apply a moisturizer before applying this. It also does have a tiny bit of blurring effect, hence the name Bamboo Blur. I did notice a little bit of a blurring effect on my skin when I did wear this. I love 100% Pure because their return policy is amazing. You can just email them and sometimes they even let you keep the other product that you ordered that didn't work out for you. I am gonna keep this one and I'm gonna try to make it work. Again, if I do apply a moisturizer before, it looks a little better on my skin. And I'm gonna try to mix it in with my moisturizer together and just make a little concoction. Hopefully that will work better. But it's not something that I'm gonna buy again only because it was just too difficult for me. I want something to be easy breezy and I love 100% Pure and they make amazing products. I have a lot of holy grails from them, but this was just not the product for me and it's okay. Next, I have a drugstore product. This is from Wet n Wild and this is their metallic liquid eyeshadow in the color Aquatic Prism. This was part of their mermaid collection and I was so excited to try this because it's so beautiful. Everybody that I saw use this on their eyes it just looks so freaking beautiful uh so this is the swatch right here it is a very metallic eyeshadow and it is an eyeshadow that dries down and my only problem with this is that it did crack and it did start to flake and it did feel a little heavier on my eyes so i didn't really like it i did like the pigment it is very very pigmented very metallic i tried to use this as a topper under an eyeshadow I try to use it alone, I try to use it with a primer under, I try to use it as an eyeliner. Again, this is just my experience with this product. 
but it just didn't work out for me. It's very affordable. I do appreciate that Wet n Wild is making it easier for us vegans to find which products are vegan. The wrapper that came with this product, it did have a little V to show that this is a vegan product. So thank you so much Wet n Wild for doing that for us. Um, moving on to a natural brand. This is the Coco Kind Happy Medium Facial Powder. They came out with the line called The Colors. So these are still skincare products. They're not makeup products, but they do have a little bit of a tint that are pretty much made with natural ingredients. I did order the primer drops in two different shades, and then I also got the powder in the color medium. And I gotta say guys, I just couldn't get over the fact that it's not finely milled. When it comes to powders, I do want them to be more finely milled and very silky and velvety. And I understand that it is kind of hard to achieve that with natural brands and natural ingredients. And I totally get that, but I just couldn't get over the texture. It is a little gritty. So that's my only issue with this product. So unfortunately, this was not a product for me. I am not gonna repurchase this. I'm probably gonna donate this because I'm not really gonna use this. These are the eyeshadows from RMS. They are the, they're called the Swift Eyeshadows and I have the color Sunset Beach, which is this one right here. And then the other one I have is Garden Rose and that is what it looks like. These two eyeshadows are just products that I regret buying. These were $20 a pop, I believe. If I'm wrong, I will leave the correct price on the screen, but I believe that is how much I paid for each one. So that's $40 for two eyeshadows. I don't know what I was thinking. Let me give you guys some swatches. This is Sunset Beach. And they're really, really pretty. They're very like a subtle, uh, glowy type of eyeshadow. They do have a really pretty sheen. Hopefully you guys can see it, but they are very sheer and they are very subtle. I just don't reach for these eyeshadows anymore. I think I used maybe the gold one twice and the rose one once, and I just don't reach for them because they're very sheer. Whenever I use these, I always have to build them up. One of you guys, I don't know if it was here or on Instagram, he gave me the idea to use these as highlights. I have been using this as a highlight, but I do use a cream highlight under just to make this pop a little more because it is very subtle, like I said. The last product that I wanted to talk to you guys about, I don't have any more. I did already give it away to someone else to try it. It's the Well People Bio Tint Tinted Moisturizer, and I really enjoyed that product, guys. I really did. It does have coconut oil, and I knew it had coconut oil, but I still wanted to try it because there are some products that have coconut oil that my skin can tolerate, and then there's other products that have coconut oil and my skin just hates it. It will break out, it just won't tolerate it. And unfortunately, the BioTint Tinted Moisturizer from Well People was one of those products that it did break me out. I gotta say that that was the only issue that I had with that product. Other than that, it was an amazing product. I really, really loved it. It was one of my favorite tinted moisturizers when I did have it. It has really good coverage. It does have SPF of 30. I did get the color medium. I really did like the finish. It was more of a satin finish. It looked very healthy. I believe it was a cream to powder type of product. That is pretty much it for this video. These were all of the products that, that I will not be repurchasing because they just did not work out for me, like I said. And again, this is just my experience, my opinions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so. Thank you so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.